2010 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Seattle, Washington. We're talking to Stephen Kerr of Cooney Motorcycle uh, Art. Let's take a minute and talk about your background, Stephen. My background? Well, uh, my dad uh, has been building bikes since he was, uh, you know, in his early teens, about 14. I came over a couple of years ago to live with him and learn the trade and I've learned a lot over the last couple of years and I've been really enthusiastic about helping with this bike. Yeah, it's been a good experience building this. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Uh, what were you trying to accomplish with this build? Yeah, yeah well as I say, it's my, dad's, uh, my dad's build and you know, he's talked to me about it. What he's trying to accomplish is, you know, something that's oversized but in, in very proportional at the same time. Uh, what was his vision for the bike? Vision. Well, he got inspiration from the old uh, 1950s knuckleheads, you know, the big, uh, big headlight and everything rounded, nice flowing shapes. He just wanted to kind of, you know, modernize it, you know, make it his own. What was his inspiration then was off the 1950 uh, Harleys? Yes, aye, for sure. Uh, let's talk about the fabrication. Mm -hmm. The frame and, and how it was how he fabricated it. Well, the, de the design of the frame, of my dad's, uh, the schematics were sent to Roland Thunder in Montreal, there who put the frame together. Uh, the gas tank was all designed by my dad, uh, rear end, and uh, yeah. What about the front end? The front end was a, my dad's design. Everything about it. These uh, were all custom machined, the, the headlight was one off, Sh Shishim Shishim, Shishim machine, uh, Crescent Valley made that. Now was the front end sent to Montreal to be bent also? No, no, that was, uh, we, th we got uh, bends, pre-made bends, we cut them and welded them together ourselves to make that. I see. And yeah, the spindle and the, the domes at the front there were all uh, designed on SolidWorks 3D modeling program and then sent away to machine company to machine. Uh, what about the engine? What enhancements do we see on the engine? The engine is a, a Jim's 120 inch, and that was all that was all pre-done. That was like a you know it's like a race motor. It was all like, bought as. Didn't spend much time on it after that. The uh, the rocker boxes. And the cam cover was designed by us on the computer and the machine, as was the air filter cover. How about the primary? The primary is, uh, uh, what's the primary again? It's not XL. Uh, I can't remember the name of the company that does the primary, but the, the covers were done by us. Okay. Uh, uh, what, was your, what was your dad's approach on the paint? Paint. Well, blue, blue has always been his favourite colour, and he, learnt, he wanted a really kind of soft, you know, a soft, uh, a soft colour, not not something glossy or anything. A nice kind of soft look, sort of a matte. Yeah, sort of a matte with a little bit of shine to it. it was like a like a semi gloss. Did he paint it himself or send it no, out? No, a guy called uh, Ken Sherman in out in Ken, uh, Crescent Valley did all the paintwork for it, and the frame and stuff. Uh, what what companies were instrumental in getting your bike done? Uh, I would say Shishim Machine in Crescent Valley. They did a lot of uh, machining for us. Good uh, local company. Uh, OPM Machine. They did all the, the CNC work out in uh, out in Kelowna. And uh, yeah, Roger Goldhammer helped us with the oil tank. That was a big help for him to do that for us. Anybody uh, yeah. else you'd like to thank? Yeah, no, I think everyone in, everyone at those companies, yeah, were really instrumental, yeah. Okay. So I'd like to thank. Uh, if somebody wants more information, do you have a website or phone number? Yes, we have uh, a website is kootenaymotorcycleart.com, which is K-O-O-T-E-N-A-Y motorcycleart.com. Well, thank you. Thank you.